be honest, I started as a runner on production um, while I was at university. So I worked on um, set. But I, it wasn't what I wanted to do and I finally found a place. Um, but yeah, I was a runner there for six months, maybe six months. But yeah, I kind of, I pushed my way through it. And other runners who had like short films that they wanted to do, I'd borrow their edit facilities and I would cut their films for them. And yeah, it was, you know, you've got to, got to push through. Otherwise, you can't just allow, not allow. You can't just wait for opportunity to fall into your lap. It doesn't work that way. In my experience, anyway. I think... So I've had a lot of jobs where I never used to use After Effects before, but I do now. Um, because I had lots of jobs saying they wanted After Effects experience, so I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to get lynda.com and teach myself just the basics for the moment. And then from there you can... Because with After Effects there's so many things that you can, you can do, and you can do the same thing in very different ways. So you can... Um, just like with your avid settings, you can tailor it to your own needs to yourself. So like any time there's like any time that happens, it's Lynda.com. Lynda.com is literally the best. So the highlight of my career has been they've got to have us, definitely. If it was a major project with like big Hollywood stars, um, and it's done really well, and it's been received really well, and from it I've had more opportunities for more work, and we'll see where it goes from there. But when I started, I was 26. Um, so, yeah, because when an editor walks in, people are really used to someone who's a lot older than me, let's say. Um, so when I walk into the room, people kind of freak out sometimes. Um, not so much anymore, because I've aged. <laughs> but <laughs> back when I first started, definitely. Um, there was one guy who, uh, I walked into the room, and he, the first thing he said to me wasn't even hello or good morning. He was like, yeah, could I have two uh, pieces of toast and a cup of coffee, please? <laughs> and you just kind of have to be like sit down and be like, all right, cool. <laughs> but you've got to have fixed it. skin. Like, these things, I hope they'll happen less and less. They've happened less and less in my career, but for people who are just starting out, I do hope that it happens less and less because it's not right. It's not, it's not right. I, age is, it's that old saying, and age is just a number, isn't it? But, um, yeah. Age doesn't uh, dictate how much talent that you have. Neither does your gender, your ethnicity, any of those things. Some editors are absolutely amazing at do a stitching together narrative, while others, others are very good at making something look like shiny and spiteful, sparkly and on point, let's say.